I could have been dead right now. Because when your own family member put you down and you just say to yourself, oh wow, if my own if my own family put me down, what about other people? That's right, we're on live. We're gonna get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? In this first clip, before we start, Marie gives a shout out to her country. She is very proud of her heritage. Let's check out this clip. Telling you guys a story about when I first moved to America. As some of you guys may know, I wasn't born here, obviously, because I have a cute accent you already know what I'm saying yeah um <laughs> I was born in Haiti so I'm Haitian Haitian for life in this clip she discusses when she moved to this country let's watch and listen um where do I start where do I start um I can't, I mean, I move to this country May 24th, 2010, right after um, the earthquake. You know, there's nothing like a mother's love. Later on, we will see just how much Marie sent praises to her mother as well as needing her throughout her story. But meanwhile, Check out this clip. I was living with my auntie and my grandma in Haiti because my mom um, left when I was like in second grade, I think. So I didn't really have mommy and daughter time until I was 12 years old. That's when I finally get to be with her. and. She did come visit, but it wasn't the same because you know everybody need that mommy and daughter time. So, mom, I love you so much. Thank you for allowing me to be with you because boy, 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 it wasn't easy without her. In this clip, she speaks on how she was not treated well by her family in Haiti and was now going to live with her mother. Check it out. So, when they say I was gonna come to see my mom, I cried, but it wasn't because I'm gonna, I was gonna miss Haiti. I would cry because I know it was gonna be the best day of my life because I didn't have a good life when I was in Haiti. And I know you guys probably say, whoa, what are you talking about? You was with your auntie and your grandma. But it wasn't the same. Leaving four hours flight. I mean, by the way, guys, it only took four hours and a couple minutes from Haiti to New York. So it wasn't the same without your mom. I don't care what people say. And my family didn't treat me well at all. I'm not trying to talk bad about them, but the truth is... The Throughout all of the mistreatment, she found out why she was treated differently. Here's what she said. And the reason they didn't like me is because I was visually impaired. I know, I stu how stupid, but it... 
it is what it was. So I don't wish wish nothing bad on my auntie or my grandma, but I would never ever forget. I would never forget how they used to treat me when I was down there. In this clip, she continued to thank her mother. Remember what I told y'all earlier about there is nothing like a mother's love. Well, she shows a great deal of emotion in this clip, remembering where she came from and how much it took a toll on her. Check this out. Guys, I don't think I can be talking about this thing. I'm going to be, I'm about to start getting emotional. So I'm just going to say it. Growing up in Haiti wasn't the best time of my life. And I am very grateful that I got the opportunity to be with my mom, to be around people that loves me and care for me and accept me for who I am. And mom, I don't know where I'll be. I will be right now without her. If it, if it wasn't for my mom, who knows? In this clip, feeling distraught, upset, and whatever other adjectives I can use to describe how she felt. She thought about suicide. Let's check out what she felt. I could have been dead right now. Because when your own family member put you down, and you just say to yourself, oh wow, if my own, if my own family put me down, what about other people? Moving forward, she speaks on whether or not she could trust people. Here's what Maria said. That's why I have trust issues. That's why I don't trust people. And it took me a long, long time to trust people because I've been through so much at a young age. And it just makes me stronger, but I would never forget. In conclusion, she sums up everything touching on all parts of her story. I really love the way she did it. She also showed that she's a strong individual. And throughout it all, she persevered. Great story. And I don't want you guys to feel sorry for me because I'm strong. Yeah. There are, there are times I wish I wasn't here but those time was in the past so this is the future I'm here now and I'm glad that I didn't decide to take my life when I was I didn't I'm glad that I didn't decide to um, take my life away when I had the opportunity to do so and I just wanted to tell you guys no matter what you're going through please stay strong if you have somebody you can trust please talk to somebody but me when I was in Haiti when I was in Haiti going through all this thing that I was going through I didn't have nobody to talk to but my mom but she wasn't right there and I didn't have the opportunity to talk to her one-on-one -on -one. I was so scared to talk to my own mom because I know if I say something, of course, she's my mom. She's going to say something about it. I was so scared. I didn't want to hurt my auntie and my grandma's feelings, but obviously they didn't care for me. So I don't want you guys, you guys to feel sorry for me because I am a strong, independent woman. And I want to thank my mom and some of my friends. For believing, 
for believing in me. Because I've been told so many times I will never be anything. Yes, I'm not where I am today, but I know one day I will be wherever I want to be. So I want to thank you guys so much for everything you guys have done. And thank you to all the teachers. Can't say you guys' name, but you know who you are. I really, really appreciate you guys. I don't know where I'd be without you guys. And thank you for supporting me. You guys is part of my family. Because to be honest, I don't really have a family. I only have my mom and my dad and my daughter and some of you guys. And I really, really want to thank you guys. And I'm fun to get off because <sighs> it's a lot. And you guys don't want to see me cry on YouTube because I'm stronger than that. Thank you guys.